All right, it's continuing as a uh, part of Youth Month that feature. Today we shine the spotlight on Linda Ngozwana, an aeronautical engineer graduate from Wurz University in Johannesburg. Linda was born and bred in Butterworth in the Eastern Cape and has always been passionate about the world of aviation. She now joins us live in studio to talk about all things aeronautical engineering and what it is. What is aeronautical engineering? Hello, Linda. Good morning. Aeronautical engineering is basically a discipline of um, engineering which involves the design, modification and the development of flight vehicles. So it can be fixed wing aircraft, can be hel helicopters, sailplanes. Um, now we're looking into drones as well. So it's basically anything that's flying, we design it. <laughs> when you study that kind of field, and South Africa is not necessarily a producer, is it? Um, we hear all the time about SAA buying airplanes. When then, where then do you get to be placed with those kind of skills? Um, with those kind of skills, you get to be placed in, um, so we do a lot of um, manufacturing of the parts. So companies like Airsuit, they- Here in South Africa. Here in South Africa, yeah. they, ma they manufacture um, parts um, for Airbus um, and um, for Airbus and Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so here is, um, and companies like Danel as well, um, there you get to actually design the plane. Um, aircraft like uh, helicopters like the Onyx and um, the Royfalk, they were designed by Danel. So the ones we saw at the, at uh, the inauguration. At the inauguration, yes. yes. So um, we get some opportunities like that where you can actually, some companies where you can actually design the plane from scratch, but mostly it's just manufacturing or the development of the planes or development of some parts that are then exported to com big companies like Airbus or Boeing. Yeah. Yeah. How big is that space in South Africa and what can be done from people, if your perspective, you've qualified now, what, where have you seen the gaps in terms of how you can add value? Um, there's a lot more that can be done. I feel um, the aviation space is, isn't as broad as it can be in Africa. There's, there's a lot of there's a big enough market yes there's a big enough market there's enough skills um for me for example or graduates in aeronautical engineering don't end up um, having aeronautical engineering jobs they end up going to mechanical field or the industrial field or working for banks so we have the skills it's just opportunity or yeah. more um, companies um, that need to employ people like us what you've said right there is it's quite sad though isn't it that you you've studied the skill that you're really passionate about but there's no place for you which is what's going to happen in your case you you were telling me before we came onto this conversation that you've had a job offer it's just not in this field yes um it's a bit um it's not frustrating it also shows the versatility of the degree as well so yeah, yeah. um you don't just have to um be in aeronautical engineering you can also feel um branch out to other um other aspects of engineering yes yeah. other aspects of engineering which is um what they teach us a lot at wits so what you learned is part of what government and civil society in education is always saying we need these skills science technology engineering what attracted linda to this field that most south african students are said to be shying away from what attracted me yes um so in high school i was very uh, i was very good at maths and physics um I was very interested in learning how things work, how things are designed, um, what was it, what was the process that went through the development of yeah. things, how things work. Um, so I always wanted to do engineer. I knew that I was going to be an engineer, but it was always um, mechanical. And then um, I took on aeronautical because I wanted a challenge, especially from a girls' school. Um, you know, girls, they teach us um, the sky is the limit. You can do anything that you want. So I took it on as a challenge. And um, just to prove to myself that I can be anything that I want to be. Um, so to anyone who wants to study um, engineering or um, fields in science, technology, engineering, and maths, um, it's just um, a mindset thing. Like, yeah. if you tell yourself that you can achieve it, 
um, then you can definitely do it. And the future is also very bright for technical skills, um, looking into um, artificial intelligence and robotics and 3D printing, because um, that's where the skills are being uh, being projected now. Is being we need more technical skills to be able to. Um, to be able to, to understand how the world works. Yes, yeah. 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 Take us back to your days in class. Were there other girls? Were there other young people wanting to advance in this area? Um, so the ratio of girl to boy, obviously the girls are less than the males. It's a very, very male dominated um, um, field. Um, so uh, how did that make you feel? At first, I was very intimidated. Um, like you lack confidence, and you think your ideas are not good enough. For um, were you made to feel that way? Um, it's not directly. Yeah, not directly. I remember one of my classmates. She had a CAD drawing, and um, the lecturer questioned if she actually did it. Oh wow! So it's it's always a matter of. Um, you trying to prove that you're capable, but then if you're too capable, then is it really you who did it? You yeah. know? So it's, it's we're always trying to prove ourselves that we are as capable as our male counterparts. Or, um, so that's what I had to learn. I had to learn that I'm good enough. I'm capable. I've made it this far. So I am more than capable of finishing this degree. What did you have to do to withstand that? Um, it's just being confident in yourself, really. It's just being confident in yourself and being being the best at what you do and yeah. doing it to the extent that no one, absolutely no one, can question your capabilities. For the benefit of young people watching us now who are scared to venture this way, is it as hard as they make it out to be? It's hard. <laughs> It's hard, hard it's as in it's hard, but don't it's not go impossible. There or okay. It's hard, but not impossible. It's f it's hard. Um, it depends on you as a person. If you're willing to, you need to be diligent. You need to work hard. You need to know that you will have no social life. It's it's just the way it is until you finish. And sometimes you might have to give up the social life. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So it's just about the tenacity to just keep on going and just fighting if yeah. you really, really want it. Are you glad you did it? Yes, I'm very glad. I, I, for myself as well, just to prove that I was capable of doing it more than anything. You spoke about the challenges you faced in class. Um, you've heard the story of the youth of 1976. When you compare, especially looking at the timeline, how does it make you feel that those many years ago, almost four decades ago, students had to struggle with certain challenges and you're still facing almost similar challenges all, uh, all this time down the line? Um, I think it just, it just shows that, it just shows the inconsistent or discrepancies in society as, because we always try to overcome this problem, but then another one arises. So um, it's, it's just a matter of, it's just a matter of the youth or um, the youth coming together, if you believe in a cause, the youth coming yeah. together and trying to voice out their opinions or voice out inequalities in the system or, um, yeah, mainly in, in inequalities in the system because that's what it is. It's mainly just a matter of you trying to prove that you're as equal yeah. as your male, you're as capable as the male. Okay. So, yeah. We have to wrap up our conversation, but just quickly, what do you think is the future of aeronautics, especially in relation to South Africa? Um, I think if if we inv if we could invest more in training people from a young age, from a young age into um, technical skills or in, or exposing them to technical skills yeah. and careers in STEM, invest more um, and young people getting scholarships in these areas as well, um, companies investing in the technological advancements and innovation, then the future is very can be very, very, very bright. We wish you all the best and we'll be watching you as you fly. Thank you so much. I'm Dan Gozana, an aeronautical engineering graduate from Wurz University, staying with us on that tech about Youth Month.